We need to make sure whatever we have, you see we are seated here, I'm sure there are so many people who are listening to us online as well. And there will be others who will listen to this later again. May Allah bless us all, really. May Allah grant us all Jannah. We all want it. Jannah is not something that I can say, okay guys, you know what, if I'm going there, I'm going to make sure you're not there. That's not how it works. Because in this dunya, we have, you know, we have a power struggle in the world. When it comes to paradise, you make a dua for others to earn paradise. The angels make that dua for you. You ask Allah to grant the others paradise. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may grant that to you as a result of your prayer for others. May Allah make us people who are generous. You know, this world, sometimes people have small problems. And because of the problem, you say, you know, this, this person has really troubled me. I just wish they're not in Jannah. What guarantee do you have? You're going to be in Jannah. What if they are making a dua to say, oh Allah, this person has hassled me a lot. Let us get to Jannah because I know that in Jannah they won't hassle. Wow, what a nice way of looking at it. Same applies to spouses. You know, there is a huge debate. It's a storm in a teacup. What's the storm in the teacup? People say, will I have the same spouse I have here in heaven? And they spoil their face. You know, when they ask you, will I have my spouse in heaven? You know that it means something good. And when they say, will I have the same man that I had here for 30 years? Will I have him there as well? You know, there was something wrong. It's the expression on the face that gives it away. And you got to look at them and you got to say, Yes, you know, and then they look at you and say, what? what? Can't I have someone else? Well, what if I told you that he'll be the top shot, best person available there completely? What are you going to say? I can't believe that, man. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. So I always say, because people debate, okay, so men will have this. What will women have? And women will have that. So what will men have? Hang on. We're losing focus. Understand? The main aim is to get there. After that, Allah says, فِيهَا مَا تَشْتَهِيهِ الْأَنفُسُ وَتَلَذُّ الْأَعْيُنُ وَأَنْتُمْ فِيهَا خَالِدُونَ Speaking of Jannah, Allah says, in it, whatever a, a soul desires, that soul shall have. What you desire, you will have. So I cannot desire now and decide, hey, when I go to Jannah, I'm not going to want this man and I'm not going to want this woman. I'm going to want the other lady who's down the road there. You cannot decide here and now because you first need to get to Jannah. You need to have the mind that will be given to you complete, that will be in Jannah, of Jannah, of the people of the Akhirah. We cannot describe beyond what Allah has told us. But what we do know is when that happens and then you choose something, here's the verse of the Quran, you can hold it because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made it clear that you can you can hold Allah to his promise subhanallah if Allah has promised you something you can hold him to that promise you can say ya Allah I worked and I worked so hard here was your promise in the Quran ya Allah give you won't even need to say that because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not such that he will go against what he's promised you in Allah you know Allah will not go against that appointed whatever he has promised or appointed in any way, no ways, not at all. So people start asking, you know, what will I have? Remember, in the process of the discussion of what you are going to actually have, a lot of the times we lose focus of actually getting there. That's the thing. So what's the point of a person who's not dressed appropriately? They're not reading salah. They're not, and they say, you know what? If, I'm, if, that's what I'm, if that's what I'm going to get in Jannah, then I don't even want to waste my time preparing for it. That is the devil. He's got hold of you because when you get there, you will never be let down. Subhanallah. I was reading just before I came. In fact, I was on the metro a few moments ago and I was reading a book that I had with me. And there's a hadith, subhanallah, amazing. It's good to refresh your mind all the time. And speaking of the last person who will enter Jannah, the last person. And amazingly, amazingly, it says the person will be given not just equivalent to the entire dunya and what it had, but that 10 times. 10 times. Imagine today, take a look at what the dunya has. And to be honest with you, this is only a description to bring it close to the mind because nothing that we've got in this world qualifies to come to the Akhirah. Not the beautiful perfumes, not the technology completely. No WhatsApp in paradise. Remember this. No, not at all. Anything you've thought of, any phones and iPhones and whatever, no ways. So if someone says, I'm not going to have my games in heaven. Ooh, what's, what am I going to do? I'll be bored. 
You haven't thought, you haven't even thought for a minute. You know, we are being occupied with so many things here. It's not going to come. Imagine everything of value in this world, if it was yours and yours alone, and you were the boss and the king of, of whatever was there, every single thing, whether it, no matter what it is, imagine it was yours. And the hadith says, multiply that by 10 and convert it to that which is in heaven. So it's not the cheap stuff of, the, of this world. You put a battery in your phone, the battery goes. You use the phone for a while, it stops functioning. Something happens, you know, you start wilting. Jannah is not like that. You don't wilt. You are at a beautiful age. It's reported that the age of 33, a certain height, beauty, beauty. You look how you want to look, subhanallah. How do you want to look? Mashallah, you look like that. Now what do you want? That's the afterlife. What's the point of talking about all this when we haven't even prepared for it? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us really. And this is why it's important for us to know that reading about heaven and hell should mainly make us focus upon achieving heaven and staying away from hell. Why does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describe the people of hellfire? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and this is the life after. وَنَادَى أَصْحَابُ النَّارِ أَصْحَابَ الْجَنَّةِ أَنْ أَفِيضُوا عَلَيْنَا مِنَ الْمَاءِ أَوْ مِمَّا رَزَقَكُمُ اللَّهِ قَالُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ حَرَّمَهُمَا عَلَى الْكَافِرِينَ الَّذِينَ اتَّخَذُوا دِينَهُمْ لَهُوًا وَلَعِبًا وغرتهم الحياة الدنيا فاليوم ننساهم كما نسوا لقاء يومهم هذا وما كانوا بآياتنا يجحدون. On that day, the people of hellfire will call out to the people of heaven, asking them to pour on them some water or liquid, anything that Allah has bestowed you with, pour it on us. We are struggling, we are suffering, we are being burnt, we are struggling in such a way that this heat is immense and intense. Pour on us something that Allah has given you. And the people of Jannah will say, that's one thing we are not allowed to do. Allah has prohibited that against those who disbelieve, they belied. You knew what was right, you turned away. And Allah says, on this day, nansahum, we will forget them in the same way that they forgot us. Where did they forget us? When they were in the world, we sent them messages. We sent them messengers. We sent them reminders. We, we made sure that we created them in a way that they knew that they are going to leave the world, but they didn't prepare for the day they left. Subhanallah. Today, let's be honest. A lot of us here are expatriates. Why are we in Dubai? Have you ever asked yourself the question? People might say, well, you know, I've been here because we need to do business and I need to earn. I've got a job. Beautiful place. Mashallah. Nice to earn and so many things that are good that are happening. But why are we here? Because we want a certain quality of life. Subhanallah. If we were able to achieve a better quality of life elsewhere, perhaps we wouldn't be here. But mashallah, it's so good that if, if that is your concern, for as long as it's within the limits of what Allah has prescribed, Alhamdulillah, you're doing a good thing. But don't forget, don't forget at all that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has kept something permanent and that is Jannah. Do not lose focus upon Jannah, even for a specific, even for a split moment. Because if that's the case, wallahi, we stand to lose. No matter what we've achieved here, temporary. That's the word. Are you tired of all these annoying ads on YouTube? Are you worried that a haram video might pop up? Well, the One Islam TV app is here to solve these problems, inshallah. The One Islam TV app is 100% free of any ads and is safe to browse for your peace of mind. Watch or listen to lectures and lessons while you work, rest or drive with your device switched off. Watch videos on demand or download videos and watch offline. Watch hundreds of high quality produced Islamic reminders, Quran learning videos, stories of the prophets and so much more. Two to four new videos uploaded daily, inshallah. One Islam TV is 100% run and owned by Muslims, which means a small amount you pay for your subscription is a sadaqa jariya, continuous charity for you as we use the funds raised to continue producing more beneficial videos and reminders. Inshallah.
The One Islam TV app is now available on Apple devices, Apple TV, Android devices, Android TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Roku. So you can watch on most devices and smart TVs. Download now for a free 7-day trial. May Allah reward you for supporting our work.